Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is the uh, level 40 ninja quest. Shukichi. Or as me and pretty much everybody else I know has been calling it, Shunpo. Because, well, character named after League of Legends. You have trained well since we last met, Katarina. I've not a heard... I have not heard a cry from the door as you entered, nor a creak from the floorboards as you drew near. This as much is clear. Neither waterfalls nor men of wood will serve to hone your senses further. No, a shinobi of your abilities receives his tutelage in the field. Consider this your first lesson in the art of assassination. I need not remind you of who our target is. He is the ever-elusive bird, and yet I have come across some information that I believe may avail us. Rumor is, or rumor has it, that Captain... Grimuil of the Bloody Executioner has narrowly evaded several attempts on his life in recent days. This doubtless, this is doubtless the work of Karasu and his men. None other are so bold or skilled as to even consider such an attack. Nothing short of death will cause a shinobi to forsake his mission. Karasu will strike again. The only questions are where and when. Answer those questions, and it will be paying us paying him a surprise visit next time. Fortunately, I know of a man who might be able to give us what we seek. Captain Grim Grimwill has a trusted lieutenant by the name of Wolfstan, a man who, if rumors are to be believed, is known to fancy a hot spring bath. I recall reading of a famous bath resort not far from here, but the name escapes me. Have you any idea where it might be? Probably, I'm going to go with Costa del... S oh, no, Bath Resort. That would be thingy, so Camp Brondlik. Oh, yes, that does sound familiar. In Upper Lenoshka, off to the east, was it? Let us make our way there at once. I almost said Costa del Sol, which is a coastal resort, not a bath resort. I would have been horribly inaccurate. And extremely disappointed in myself. Although I'm already disappointed in myself. Which I could have avoided just by reading the options before saying anything. Screw internal monologue? External monologue? Oboro! You don't look so ninja at the moment. I had no idea that so many Orzeans also enjoyed public bathing. I would say it is a comforting sight, but in truth it makes me all the more nostalgic for the pleasures of my homeland. That said, seeing all these people milling about gives me cause for concern. Even with these disguises, it is only a matter of time before our foreign mannerisms raise eyebrows among the more observant types. Yes, best we stay out of sight until our man arrives. Let us keep watch from high above until it is time to act. The time has come for me to impart to you another technique, which... We call shukuchi, uh, shukuchi. Shukuchi. You may think of it as a compressing the physical space around you, allowing you to cross great distances in the blink of an eye. Go ahead, Katarina, give it a try. Well, that person just got it. Your mind finds restfulness guiding your blade. Shipupi. I mean, Shukuchi. Uh, okay, that is on this button. Nope, wrong button. Too far. Nope. Oh. Uh, what? What have I done here? Aboro is ready to proceed with the operation. I trust that Shukuchi is now second nature to you. Very well. I shall await you on the rooftop, but be warned, while the technique will allow you to cover great distances in the blink of an eye, it does not allow you to soar at will through the sky. The ledge on which Tsubame now stands is at a level with the roof, and should provide a suitable starting point. That said, Shinobi is ever resourceful. If you would make your way to the rooftop by other means, that will serve just as well. Poof. Uh, right. Ah, uh, yeah. What is the cooldown on that? One minute. I would have to say that it's fairly long, actually.
Oi. Quite impressive, Katarina. Only a true shinobi could stand where you are now where you now stand. Anyhow, this could prove a suitable vantage point. Let us keep watch until Wolf Stan arrives. Um I hate to say this, but that's actually really easy to get to. Kind of stupid that I do on a regular basis. Nothing like a steaming bath, a bottle of fine wine, and a couple of buxom wenches to ease what ails ye. I, as far as I'm concerned, Captain Grum, uh, Grimwill can take his bloody time. Full stand. Very well. Now we need to only now we need only to employ these bamboo breathing pipes, descend underwater, and Boboro. I do not question that such message have served us well in Doma, but might Bamboo not arouse suspicion in these environs? Do you truly believe so? But underwater surveillance was always my area of expertise. I have an idea that I believe is well suited to both our target and the customs of the land. It will require a simple change of garb and a bottle or two of fine spirits. I will require your assistance, Katarina, as I see there is no way the man would refuse a drink from an alluring maiden like yourself. That that sounds disappointing. Intriguing. And what, pray tell, will be my role in all of this? Er, I was thinking that uh, your talents might be best put to use overseeing the operation. Yes, uh, from up here. To ensure that nothing goes amiss, of course. I must prepare now, Katarina. Meet me down below, out of sight, and I shall furnish you with the item that will serve to deliver the final blow, as it were. So she's going to dress as a wench? Is she going to force me to, you know, join her in this wenchedness? Because that would be disappointing. Yep, wenchedness. Am I wearing this properly, Katarina? I'm not accustomed to garb that is so revealing. Regardless, I will entrust this to you. Though it may not, it may appear it. To be a simple bottle of wine, I have made a few enhancements to the recipe. Off duty or no, a salty sea dog like Woolstan is certain to be on his guard. I'll start him off with an untainted vintage, and once he's in sufficiently good spirits, that's your cue to step in with the stronger stuff. I expect that once his mind is sufficiently addled, he will gladly take a swig with a minimum of fuss. Now let us begin. Whee! Probably be best not to run up there with uh, daggers in my hand. Fine wine and fine wenches. Now this is what I had in mind when I took up the pirate in life. Here, have some modified wine. I mean, it's perfectly fine. There's just nothing changed about it. What's this? Come to battle your friend here for Wolfie's affections. Don't mind if I do. Or, or someone fetch me a cup. Or fetch me... Someone fetch me cup. Okay. My brain did not want to interpret that statement for a second. Ah, uh, that's the good stuff. A bit stronger than I recall it. Maybe I should take a rest. Oh, you mustn't be so modest. Why, well, I heard that Wolf Stand's seven stomachs once drank a whale under the table. Har har har. You bet her your hick skivvy as he could. Lash me bleeding hick. Duty should get me from the bottle for too long. I'm out of practice, shall. Your duties? Why, that sounds so important and exciting. I'd do anything to hear more. Did ye say anything? Har har. Well, maybe ye heard of the bloody executioners. That's the nastiest, bloodiest band of pirish whatever it is. Shale the bleeding sheesh. I reckon our Captain Grimwill Chunk more garlic and vegetables than every other pirate combined. And just who do ye reckon keeps the captain safe from all the enemies he's made? Why, that'd be none other than his dear mate, Hick, uh, Hick Wolfenstein. Doing drunk voices very difficult, considering I don't drink. 
The Neg Navigator have mercy. Should you not return immediately to your captain? Surely he is not safe without his most loyal, capable man at his side. Under normal circumstances, you'd be <laughs> right, lass. But there is one plus even I can't follow him. Aleport. I, the man, is bloody particular about his <laughs> grog. Says he can't <laughs> concentrate unless he's on his own. Wow, that statement. Not that I'm Big. complaining. It's the only time we get a day's rest. But don't worry, your little art nun lashy. Nobody knows the captain's whereabouts. Whereabouts? But Big. me and I sure as bloody Elish ain't talking. Ar har har. Lashy, are you listening? And she's gone. That's sh curious. She was just. Big. There a moment. Hick, hick, hick. Uh. Well then. Aboro, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you're not exactly hidden up there. You're kind of really, really obvious. Well. Were you able to loosen that our man's lips? I see. Captain Grimwill is en route to Aleport, and alone at that. If I know Karasu, the, this knowledge has not escaped him. Doubtless he and his shadows already lie in wait. We haven't much time. Let us hurry to Aleport and ambush the ambassadors. Ambush, I bet. Ambush the ambushers. Holy crap, I'm English the wording. Apparently, this is not a good time for speaking. Too bad. Wait, is he up top? No, no destination. Waiting. Waiting around. Much waiting. Your level was at 44, it will be synced. Well, I didn't really gain anything at 45 compared to 44, so this doesn't hurt me. The sun sets, and the port is cloaked in shadow. If there were a perfect time to strike... Speak of the devil... Look at how those men walk. Those are no ordinary deckhands. Those are imperial shinobi, waiting to pounce upon and slit the throat of any who would stand between them and their prey. Karasu is too proud to entrust such a vital mission to his lackeys. He is here somewhere. Of this, I am certain. Karina, you move forward and search the docks. I will approach from the opposite direction. Subami, you secure the escape route. He will not elude us this time. Take care to stay well hidden, Katarina, hidden from the eyes of Karasu's shadows, and yet I fear your task will be more complicated still. For it is not just men that serve Karasu, but creatures of the night, creatures that see not with their eyes, but with every fiber of their being. Give them a wide berth, or I'll, all shall be for naught. That should be all. Time is short. We must move swiftly. Where exactly am I going? Other than away from the bats. Well. Things have not exactly proceeded as planned. Hopefully this does not make a negative impact on the quest, because that would kind of suck.
Krasu. What? What's this? No, no, no! This is not how the story goes. I'm supposed to be the one that surprises you. The tables have turned today, Karasu. Now face your death like the man you once were. I must say, popularity really does have its downsides. Fine, if you're so eager to dig your own graves, here's your bloody shovel. Night shadows first. That's not the skill I was supposed to cast. I screwed up the combo. Did he... Is he really leaving? There will be no escape for you this time, traitorous dog! I should probably not be standing in there. Well, looky here! Too bad you didn't realize that there's more than one way out! Curses! We had him just where we wanted him! Apparently ninjas fighting each other in the middle of the night! complete. See, I see, I see. Gah, the slippery bastard. We have come too close to abandon hope. Come, Tsubami, Katarina, let us return to the safety of the storehouse and take stock of our options. Yeah. Hello, Karasu. Grimu will lives. Failure of this sort does not become you, Karasu. Forgive me, Master. I had an unexpected reunion with some friends. Seems they have a mind to kill me, and just when I thought we were getting on so well. Your job is to give me answers, Karasu, not excuses. We can ill afford to let a few stray rats foil our plans. Should they return, kill them. This is your final warning. Next time you fail me, we'll be your last. Does he have to say it like that? Fine, fine. Let it never be said that I'm not a loyal soldier. I wasn't quite sure if the rest of that I should be saying in the sort of sarcastic tone I've been using for him, but... Mm, you can do. Back to Wineport and down to Rain Catch our goalie, then.
bum, bum, bum. Now, every single time I try and do the Chocobo theme song, I always end up, like, starting Nightmare Before Christmas. So, instead... I'll do that. No, nope. move your fat head. Interesting music. Bah! Once more, the bloody crow has managed to foil our best laid plans. It is as if his, it is as if his skull burgeon. His skills burgeon with each encounter. But how could this be? He has perfected some new training regimen since coming to Urzia. But there is no time to dwell on past mistakes, since the times of my ancestors, failure in one's duty is unacceptable for a shinobi. My mission will end in success, Karasu's death, or failure, my own. But all is not lost. Karasu is not the only one who has honed his skills. Fighting beside you back there, at times it felt as if we had trained together since childhood. You have shown remarkable focus and aptitude for our art, but you sh you must grow stronger still if we are to have any hope of triumph. Devote yourself to your training with the entirety of your body and mind, and Tsubame and I will do the same. I await your return, Katarina. And that is all for this one. Next time we'll be picking up the level 45 quest, of which I should get four pieces of my artifact set. But I'm going to call this good for now, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.